Back out to Lindsay McComel now on the Blue Bridge. She's monitoring the Grand River in downtown Grand Rapids. And Lynn, this flooding is bringing back a little bit of Grand Rapids lore. Yeah, Evan, that is certainly right. You can't really talk about the flooding this week without bringing up the 2013 flooding. And with that brings conversations of that viral photo that was captured back in 2013 of the fish swimming on by one of the riverfront windows here in downtown Grand Rapids. I actually caught up with the man behind that photo, and he says that that fish was not the only visitor he had by his practice that year. 2013 brings back uh, fresh memories of uh, the water being up about a foot and a half under the windows. It was up just about there last time. Dr. Gary Anderson has an optometry practice situated next to the Grand River in downtown Grand Rapids. In 2013, his office got a front row seat to the flooding, and this photo he took went viral. But it's not all that he was able to capture that year. A few ducks and some other curious fish also came by. A little bit exciting, but uh, also very scary. Uh, we did not know if the windows were going to hold. Uh, it was designed to hold back a flood, the 100-year flood, um, and they did. The windows themselves are designed for aquariums. They're actually four inches thick. A little bit of water did manage to get in that year, but the caulking has since been redone. Plus, a new mascot is keeping an eye on things. My patients presented me with uh, Peter Pike with the glasses on him so that he could see where he was going. So he's been here for five years, I guess, waiting for his family to show up this year. <laughs> And Evan, now that we do have a little bit of daylight here, I want to show you the windows that do belong to uh, Dr. Anderson's practice. These first couple of windows here on the building, you see the water level right now just at the base of the windowsill. Now, those windows themselves are actually, they sit up about two and a half to three feet off of the ground there in his office. So the water is pretty high, but not as high as it was in 2013. I know he said uh, that he does have some employees Employees hanging out this weekend to keep an eye on the office as well as some uh, building personnel to make sure they have no issues and hopefully won't see any of those record floods like they did in 2013. But of course, keeping a close eye on everything, Evan. Yeah, quite uh, quite the photo photos, I should say. That's for sure. Lindsay McComa reporting live at the Blue Bridge for us this morning. Lindsay, thanks.